Hey everyone, Guardian E here with another episode of Poverty Poles in Fire Emblem Heroes. Now, what is Poverty Poles, you might ask? Well, that is an excellent question. Poverty Poles is essentially a compilation of free first pull summons, as well as summons on the first circle, uh, of any banners in Fire Emblem Heroes that have released in the past month or so. It's a nice little neat little compilation, so you guys can see what I've pulled or managed to pull uh, with any luck, some five stars, without creating any filler in the more targeted pulls where I'm actually going to be spending a lot of orbs on those summon sessions. So, fingers crossed, hope for the best, hopefully we get uh, a couple of five stars along the way. Today we have Leo and Elise's Bound Hero Battle Banner, since that dropped today. And it features Leo and Elise, obviously, and Camilla's in there as well as one of the Norian siblings. I don't actually have Elise or Leo, uh, and I can always use uh, more Camillas, so I think if there are any of the focus colors in the first circle, I, I'm going to go ahead and just pull them. So, let's redeem our free pull. Oh wow, so I can actually pull this full circle. Um, well, let's start with red. Alright, so at least a 4 star. And that is going to be a Marth. Not bad. Let's keep going with this one. Alright. The 4 star rate is good. And it's going to be a Roy. Making our way around the, uh, the Lord list. Okay, so no Leo, unfortunately. Um, so let's see if we can get a Camilla here. Alright, so far all four stars. Oh, Barst! Alright, I was running a little low on reposition fodder, so I am definitely glad to see him. We'll just finish it off with these two colorless. I'm missing a lot of good stuff in the colorless pool, so if, if Elise doesn't make it um, make it over to our barracks, I'm um, at the very least. Well, Clarine is not one of the <laughs> Clarine's not one of the units that I'm looking for. Definitely, definitely not. But I would love to get um, some more Soths, Kleins. Wow, okay, so we've gotten the dust on every single one of these pulls, and it's going to be a Reese. Alright. That is okay. Alright, so we got some, some Triangle Adept and Reposition Fodder out of this batch. Okay, Heroes with Distant Defense. This is actually a heck of a banner. All three of these units are uh, very good, very good mages. There's no color sharing here, so... Um, sniping is pretty optimal, and, and there are only three units. Um, so they're sharing that 3% pity rate uh, across three characters. I do have Celica already, and I already have Rajat as well. My Rajat has terrible IVs, so I certainly wouldn't mind getting another copy. And getting a copy of any of these, or a dupe of any of these, would be great, just to have additional distant defense fodder. Don't have Micaiah either, so I'll be pulling focus, um, focus colors on the first circle. And, um, and we'll see what we get. So red, blue, and green. Anything that's not colorless, basically. Okay. Alright, so we're not getting another Rajat, and we're not getting another Celica. So let's see if we can pull a Micaiah. Fan favorite Micaiah. Also, definitely plenty of blue fodder that I'm looking for as well. So, good opportunity for that. Est is not one of them. Est is definitely, definitely not one of them. She has basically nothing that I'm looking for. Okay, three star. That is going to be a Roderick. Now he does have some, some good stuff that I'm looking for. Some drive skills, some fire sweep. Dual rally. I just have a million of them, so I don't really need another one. Okay, so we're going to end it on a three-star. That is okay, and that is going to be a Jagan. Gross. Alright, that's going to do it for me on the Heroes with Distant Defense.
Weapon Triangle is the focus banner for today. And unfortunately, I have all of these units, so I think what we'll do is if there are any blues, we'll just shoot for Azura, since uh, she's the only 5-star exclusive unit here. Lo and behold, we have one blue. We're just going to go ahead and grab this blue and back out. Could be Azura. All right. Let's see it. It is going to be an Abel. Okay, not bad, not bad. Abel has uh, Swordbreaker. Yeah, Abel has Swordbreaker, so that is very useful fodder to have. And that's going to do it for this banner. I'm just going to back out and save for next time. Today we've got Heroes with Vantage, and I have uh, all of these units. Don't really need any of these units. And as all of you know, Vantage is available at 4 stars, so... Um, you know, I, I guess I could go ahead and just pull for Long Ku here. Uh, I would be able to get Killing Edge Plus, and that would be pretty nice to be inheritable. So I think that's what we're going to shoot for on this one. Uh, just try to get that premium weapon. Uh, okay, so let's just go ahead and grab one of these reds. Um, I'm also, you know, red is also a, a color uh, that has a lot of units that I'm looking for. So who knows? Uh, we could get lucky, get something that's off uh, focus. Going to be at least a four star, and that will be a Tiki. An adult Tiki. That is not bad. That's Merge Fodder, that's Bonfire, that's Lightning Breath. All good stuff. So, uh, not bad. Not bad for a free pull. Alright, Heroes with Fury. This is, uh, this is a heck of a banner. We've got Jaegen, Bartray. And Eldigan, I think we've got a clear front runner for the best unit on this banner. So we're going to be pulling on reds uh, to the extent that we have any available. And we'll just hope for the best. I already have an Eldigan uh, with excellent IVs, but who knows? We can get a merge. Certainly wouldn't say no to that. All right, we're going to get at least a four star. It's going to be. Well, that is going to be a stall. That is not Eldigan. Okay. Well, definitely, definitely not a win here. Alright, so we've got Heroes with Hone Attack. This one's a little bit weird. Um, I think for this banner, I, the only one I don't have is Sanaki. She also happens to be the 5-star exclusive unit on the banner, so we're just going to go red on any free orbs that we've got. Alright, perfect. One red. That's going to do it for us, and then we're going to back out. Alright, it's going to be a 3 star, and that is going to be a seller who has pretty much nothing of value. <laughs> That's alright. Heroes with Quick Repost. Quick Repost is one of those skills that you can never get enough of, and unfortunately is also 5 star locked. So this could yield us something pretty good. Um, I don't have a Leo, I have yet to pull one since the beginning of the game, so if there's a red, wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and pull this red. And hopefully it's going to be our first Leo. Fingers crossed. Okay. Let's see what we get. We got that, got that dust. It is going to be a Corrin. Okay. So, wrong fates, brother. Well, today we've got two for the price of one. We've got a Life and Death banner as well as the Fighter Skills banner. So, let's start off with the Life and Death banner. This is one of the daily banners in the rotation. We will shoot for Minerva. I have yet to pull Minerva, one of the few flyers that I don't have. But let's just go for her if there are any greens. If there are no, <laughs> if there are no greens, uh, then we can go for Colorless because I don't have Jafar either. So let's just go for this Colorless Stone and maybe... No, we're not going to get any... Maybe we'll get some fodder. No, it's going to be George again. It's going to be George... Gonna be George. Okay. Well, let's shake that off. Uh, oh, come on. Okay, so now we're going to jump into the fighter skills. So I don't have Grima. <laughs> uh, Harden and Effie are color sharing, which means that yields the highest chance of actually pulling a five star. So let's see what the first circle has. I think that really we'll just be pulling for green just because a new unit is a new unit. 
And we get one green, so that's perfect. Green is also home to... <laughs> uh, Barst? No, it's going to be Frederick. So that is some Luna and Wings of Mercy. And Fortify Defense. Okay. So here we are on the Focus Heroes with Blade skills. Of these three, I'm... I guess we're gonna go for Tharja. I do have a five-star Tharja that I've been building up and merging, so you know what? May as well, may as well go for Reds if we see them. And there is that Red. So perfect works out. If we don't get Tharja, there's plenty of Red units that I could use, and it's gonna be a three-star, so it could be a Selena. It's <laughs> all right. Well, it's gonna be a Tharja, not a five-star Tharja, but that is okay. We are. Uh, getting a three-star Tharja. All right, well, maybe I will build her up. Uh, maybe I will throw the feathers on her to uh, to get another merge. We'll see. All right, well, today we got the heroes with Threatened Defense banner uh, on the daily. And uh, uh, of the selection, Ephraim is definitely the standout. But I do already have two Ephraims. Uh, so I don't really need a third. I mean, I could always use another merge, I suppose. Ephraim and Perry are both blue units. Having two uh, focus units of the same color definitely increases your chances a great deal that you'll be getting a five star off of a blue stone. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to snipe a blue and hope for the best. And we got one blue, so it's perfect. Also plenty of good fodder in here. <laughs> it looks like that's what we're going to get. It is a three star and it is a parry. Oh man. This is uh, flashbacks to the last banner, which was Blade Tomes, and I got 3-star Tharja on the Blade Tome banner. Oh well. We tried. Alright, well today we've got a 2-for-1. We have the Festival in Hoshido, as well as the Heroes with Deathblow banner. And we're just going to be doing our free pulls on each one of these. This Heroes with Deathblow banner is pretty lackluster, aside from Klein. You can always have more clines. He is a fantastic piece of fodder um, with a lot of desirable skills. So uh, on this banner we're going to be pulling for Klein and then on the Hoshido banner um, we'll just let's see what we get. We'll probably go for Micaiah but um, I haven't really decided yet. So I do want both Xander and Ryoma for their respective Xander and Ryoma emblem teams um, but it's a four-person banner. I'm trying to save orbs. I don't have a ton to work with, so I think I'm probably going to end up passing on the seasonal, even though it kind of kills me. Uh, but we will at least try our luck um, at the start. So let's start with the Deathblow banner, and uh, you know, again, we're probably going to go for Klein. I'm thinking, uh, unless there aren't any colorless, and then I suppose we could go for Hawkeye for the Killer Axe. Okay, so we get one colorless. Go ahead and pull on this and then back out. Okay, getting that shockwave. It's going to be at least a four star. Could be even a four star climb. Oh, hey, all right. There we go. That is awesome. Our first, uh, is it our first five star? Yeah, I think it's our first five star amidst all these... Oh, I missed all these daily banners. That is awesome. Okay, we're going to get a Klein. That is perfect. That's Quick Repose 3. That is Brave Bow Plus. Um, that's great stuff. Great, great stuff. Definitely happy to see that. Um, honestly, his fodder, he's so good fodder-wise that I'm probably not going to ever use him, but let's go ahead and check his IVs anyway. He is a 5-star, no matter what, so... May as well go through the motions and check his IVs. Okay, so pulling this up here and based on this, we've got neutral HP, uh, a plus attack, minus res. Oh wow, hey, that's hey, that's actually pretty good for a climb. I mean, plus attack's always good. He's comes pre-equipped with the brave bow. But he's got that, he's got that quicker post three. I, I'm not going to be using him. He is definitely going to be fodder for me, and I'm going to be grateful for having 
uh, this fodder available to him. Alright, sorry about that. We are back. I've cleared, over, cleared uh, a little bit of space. And fingers crossed, hopefully that luck carries over into the festival in Hoshido. Honestly, I really would have rather pulled a free 5-star on this banner rather than um, the Death Blow banner, but that's fine. I'm starting to second-guess myself. I originally said I was going to be targeting Makaya. I'm leaning towards Olincia. I think greens, generally speaking, have a slightly higher chance of having a 5-star if they are a focus unit, so... You know, even now, it was it was very obvious early on in the game's life cycle, but um, I think even now that's the case. So if there are any greens... Okay! Alright, perfect. So we've got, uh, we've got a green here. Let's just go ahead and pull on this. And... Hope for the best. Okay. Can we get two five stars in a row? Because that would be amazing. <laughs> okay. Okay, not today it seems. Um, that is going to be a bar tray. Definitely not what we're looking for. Definitely, definitely not. Um, I'm debating... <laughs> whether or not to pull the other green. You can see that my orb count is really, really hurting here. All right, after a bunch of deliberation um, and wrestling with myself, uh, I think I'm just gonna go for it. I have a good feeling about this green. I think it could be something good. So let's, let's just grab the green, give it the old college try. Could be something great. Could be a Barst. A Barst would still be awesome. Okay, so it is gonna be a three star. Could be a Barst. Nope. That is going to be a Sheena, which is definitely not a character that I'm looking for, and definitely not a character that I'm building, but that's all right. We gave it a shot. We can't win them all. Here we are on the Flyer Boost Skills banner with Hinoka, Minerva, and Sheeta all on varying and different uh, colored stones. Uh, so this is a pretty good banner if you're trying to build up a Flyer team. I still to date don't have Minerva and getting uh, more Hinokas is always a good thing so I think for the first circle I'm just going to pull on all blues and greens to the extent that they are available. Okay, alright. Well, uh, looks like we're not spending any orbs today. I'm going to just pull on this green stone and get the hell out of here. Okay, at least a four star. And it is going to be... Hey, La Rochelle. Alright. It's not a bad free pull. Not a flyer unit, but that is, uh... That's A-OK -okay by me. Alright, well today we've got another Deathblow banner and another banner with Klein in it. It seems like Klein is on, like, every other banner that appears in this daily rotation. Uh, which is perfectly fine, since he's awesome. He's awesome, awesome fodder. Uh, but actually, I don't have Delphia, and I don't have Alincia either. So I think, you know, depending on what we get on the first circle, I, I might just pull all reds. I've definitely sunk in a lot of orbs in trying to get Alincia in the past and have not been successful, so, you know, maybe today's the day. Let's just see what we get. Okay, three reds. That's actually pretty good. So I'm thinking I'll pull all three of the reds, and leave it at that. No blues, so no chance at Delphia, but that's okay. Alincia would have been the priority anyway. So, first up, our first pull is going to be a four-star at least. Okay. Selena is very good. That is very, very good. That's some reposition fodder for me, as well as some budget triangle adept too. And, uh, let's go ahead and pick this other red over here. Okay, getting that shockwave. Ares. Okay, all right. Ares is excellent fodder. He's got that brazen skill, uh, and he is a great unit in and of himself. I have a ton of Ares. This guy is stalking me almost as much as Leon was. So I'm looking for lean Ares, not you. Bring lean. Call for lean. If lean is in this stone, then all is forgiven. Okay. All right, four star. I want lean over Alincia for sure. Okay, it's going to be a Soleil. I can't be mad at getting a Soleil. She's great. Get some fire sweep sword fodder and another merge from my Soleil as well. One of the two. 
Okay, so Alincia eludes me once again, but that's okay. We got some pretty amazing fodder out of this, actually. I'm um, just looking at this circle. So I'm definitely happy with that. No complaints. All right, in today's rotation, we have the heroes with powerful specials, and I actually have all three of these units. Uh, my Nephany and Sonia's are both fully built, and I have a, a Corel as well. I think of the three, uh, I would like to get more Nephany's. I would love to get more Sonia's just for merges, and they've got some, some great skills too. Sonia has a Res Ploy, Nephany has Wrath, which is very desirable. So I think uh, I think for our first circle, we're just going to pull on blues and greens and oh, hope for the best. Okay. <laughs> All right. So no Sonia's, uh, but we do have a chance at Nephany. So who knows? Uh, the Nephany that I have is pretty darn good. I think she's, and she is plus speed. And we're going to get a four star at least. It's going to be a Reinhardt. Mr. Uh, Mr. Meme-tastic himself. I will spend the four orbs just to grab this other blue. Grab this other blue stone. Come on home, Nephany. Ah, uh, damn it. Okay. It's going to be a three star, and that is going to be a Roderick. Roderick, I say this every time, Roderick is amazing fodder, but now I have like a million of them, and I really don't need any more. But that's okay. All right, so that's, that's going to do it for me on this daily, uh, unfortunately. Today we've got another twofer, we have Weapons to Refine Part 2, and this new Heroes with Draconic Aura. So let's start off with the Weapons to Refine Part 2. I'll be pulling green for Minerva, I don't have Minerva. I also don't have Jafar, but um, yeah, I'd rather have Minerva. So let's take a look, hopefully there's a green, okay, there's no green, and there's no colorless. Okay, well, they just made my decision very easy. So we're just going to go for red, who knows, maybe we'll get, maybe we'll get another Eldigan. There's also plenty of red fodder I could use. Gonna be a four star. Also lots of red units I'm looking for, like a lean, not a Marth, not a Marth. Uh, but we are getting a four star Marth here. That's all right, we're gonna go ahead and back out of this circle. All right, so no go there, <laughs> we just got a Marth. Uh, now we're gonna move on to the Heroes with Draconic Aura, and this, one's, I'm a little, this one I'm a little torn on. I already have both Carla and Ares. Um, so reds offer the best chance of getting a 5 star on that first circle, but I have both of the units. But they're also both great fodder. I don't have Kana, who's on green. Uh, you know, I think I'll pull the first full circle of greens and reds, whatever's there. I'll spend the orbs for it, so let's just see what we get. Okay, well, we're going to get one green and one red. Uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and grab Carla first. Okay, here she comes. Here's Carla. It's oh god, damn it! Oh damn it, Aries! Damn it, Aries! Uh, Aries is great. He's a great unit. I have so many of him. He really is kind of stalking me. Well, let's check his IVs. Um, I have a number of notoriously bad IV Ariesses, so, yeah, I'm not optimistic here, but who knows? We've got, uh, neutral HP, neutral attack, minus speed, again, this is, I believe, my fourth minus speed Ares. So that's wonderful, that's great, um, and unfortunately, I don't think he has a whole lot at four, at five star. At 4-star, he has Brazen Attack and Defense, so... <sighs> um, I guess it's another merge? Hey, it's a free 5-star Ares, right? I really shouldn't be complaining. So, let's go ahead and grab Kana. I wish that had been Carla. <laughs> I really could use Carla, that would, but that's eh, fine. We get another Ares. Alright, and that is going to be a Soren, not a Kana at all. And definitely not what I was looking for. Okay, well that's alright, we got another 5 star out of it. Certainly can't complain about that. Um, so, yeah. Alright, we've got two hours left on the Weapons to Refine banner. 
And I'm actually kind of excited about this. I still to date do not have the original version of Lin, and getting this Lin would give me Lin Emblem, so that would be totally awesome. Of course, that also means that I'm not going to get anything. I already have Ephraim, and I already have Takumi. Uh, well, I guess everybody has Takumi now. So we're just going to be going on reds and see what the opening circle has for us. Okay, two reds. I will go ahead and spend the four orbs. Uh, actually, it's all the focus colors, which is kind of interesting. But, uh, but only reds. We're only going for reds right now. And hopefully, fingers crossed. Gonna get a four star. Hey! Alright, we got Lynn! That's awesome! That is so awesome! I'm actually so happy about that. I've been wanting Lynn for so long. And I, I mean, you know, she's not the. Um, she's in a very competitive class, let me put it that way. Female, Myrmidon, sword user, infantry, whatever. But I'm happy. I'm happy that I've gotten her. Okay, Lady of the Plains Lynn. I'm Lindis of the House of Kaelin, yet I truly belong to the Open Plains. Just call me Lynn, alright? Lady of the Plains. Alright! Oh, you know what? It would have been great to get that animation. And I, I, I actually miss those animations. I like them. I know everybody complains about how they take up space. And, uh, you know, it gives you false hope when you get Robin and you get a three-star Robin or whatever. But I like them. I wish they could have made them optional. I think it would have been a nice touch if they had continued doing that. It just gives a nice flavor to the summoning. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and just check her IVs. And even if she has terrible IVs, doesn't matter. I'll be happy. Uh, looks like she is my... <laughs> oh, God. Alright, so she is minus attack plus res. That is horrible, but that is fine. I'm, I'm just happy that I've got Lynn. That's, that's totally, totally okay. Um, yeah, that, that's fine. Minus attack. Her attack at level 40 is... Oh my god, her attack is 40 at level 40. That's really bad. That's really, really bad. But that's okay. That's alright. We've got Lin on our free pull, and that's super great. That's super great. Um, let's go ahead and pull the other red. I don't know why I'm pulling the other red, but I'm going to pull the other red. Who knows? going to be a four star and it is going to be a set okay probably should have saved those four orbs but that is all right so we did get Lynn that's exciting that's that's a that's a new five star for me okay Micaiah and Soth's bound hero battle banner uh, and I don't have either Sanaki or Micaiah so either of those would be a great get uh, we're going to go ahead and pull on... We'll, we'll make blue the priority if there is one. And if there are no blues, then we'll just pull red. Okay, there's two blues. I think I am going to... Well... I think I might spend the four orbs for the other blue, but we'll see. What? Well, let's just see what we get here. It's going to be at least a four star. Hey, okay, it's going to be an Effie. Army of One. I haven't seen Effie in a long time, actually. Okay, well, let's go ahead and spend those four orbs. That's fine. This is a three-person banner, so the odds are a little bit better than usual to get a focus unit. Alright, it's going to be a May. I do like May. Not the blue mage focus that we were looking for, but that's okay. It's alright, but I think we're going to call it here. I don't need Sanaki that much. Uh, I think we're just going to um, cut our losses and close it here. Today we've got healing skills, and definitely not the units I was expecting for this banner. Um, but definitely not uh, complaining either, because uh, I would really, really, really like to get that Olwen. And she is a green, which means that on this three-person banner she probably has the highest chance of appearing. So, with any luck... Fingers crossed, we'll be getting some green stones in our first circle, and we can pull for her. So, let's go ahead and redeem our first pull. Okay. 
Okay, so we're only getting one green. That is... that's fine. Um, it's gonna be Olin? It's gotta be Olin. No, it's gonna... <laughs> Damn it, it's not Olin, it's a three star. Oh man, it's Arthur. Okay, well... Arthur has Swap and Landsbreaker 2, I guess, so that's okay. Today we have the Focus Voting Gauntlet banner, which is really just Choose Your Legends 1, a rerun of Choose Your Legends 1. So I think out of these four, I'm just going to go for green on the first circle if we get any. Uh, one year later, I still do not have a Brave Ike. So this is our opportunity to pull one. And there we go. We have one green right there at the top. So with any luck, we'll be getting our first Brave Ike. It's going to be a four star. Oh my god! <laughs> oh wow, um... Jesus. Okay, <laughs> Jesus. I was not... I was not expecting that. Uh, Brave Mercenary Ike. I'm Ike of the Grail Mercenaries, and this axe is Irvin. You might call it my current partner. <laughs> Alright. Alright, well you can see from the exclamation point, this is my first Brave Ike. Um, so that is very, very exciting. Let us check his IVs. Uh, we have neutral HP, neutral attack, minus speed, plus defense, and neutral res. Okay, so that's actually uh, not very good. I, I, I mean, I, I know that certain builds can definitely work with them. Um, because you can get the minus speed, and then you know the breath helps with the special proc. Plus defense is very good, definitely usable, and that that's fine. This is my first Brave Ike. I'm very excited to finally have Brave Ike. Uh, so at this point, I'm still missing, I guess, regular Ike, uh, but I have the other two. So that is that is amazing. I am very, 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 very happy about that. Hey everyone, today we've got the Heroes with Fury Focus banner featuring Murr, Eldigan, and Exalted Krom. Red has a pretty good chance of having two focus units on a three focus unit banner. Uh, I already have Eldigan, I have multiple Eldigans, I don't need any more Eldigans. I don't have Krom, and I don't have Murr, and the greens inherently have a pretty good chance of um, being a five star as well. So I think against my better judgment, I am going to pull on all reds and greens available on the first circle and just see what we get. There's also a good chance. Okay, all right. Looks like we're doing a full first circle. Uh, there's a good chance of reposition fodder as well, so certainly, certainly wouldn't snub my nose at that. It's been a while since I've done a first full circle, so this is kind of exciting. Going to be a four star at least. And it's going to be a Roy. Nice little, uh, nice little triangle adept fodder. Pretty good. Uh, let's let's switch to green. Okay, another four star, at least. And that is going to be a Sheena. Switch back to red. We'll just swap back and forth, back and forth. Alright, <laughs> the rarity rate is pretty good so far. So that is going to be an Eliwood. From the silhouette, I... I I thought just very, very briefly that it may be Krom, but not to be. Let's grab this green. So far, no repositions, unfortunately, but all four stars. Getting that dust every single time is great. Okay, it's going to be a Cecilia. Unfortunately, this might end up being a bust. We're just going to pull on this last red. See what we get. Alright, all, all four stars for the first circle, so that's awesome. Oh, wow! That's crazy! We got Fallen Celica! I have wanted her for so long. I 
That's amazing. That is super cool. I want her more than any of the focus units on this banner. So that's awesome. That's actually incredible. That's perfect. Um, that's also one more uh, closer to Celica emblem. So we've got Imprisoned Soul Celica. I am Lord Duma's faithful servant, Celica. I shall fill this world with Lord Duma's power. Okay. Wow, that's incredible. So cool. Definitely very excited about that. Like I said, I've wanted Fallen Celica for a while now. I've kind of gone in half-heartedly. Um, I've kind of gone in half-heartedly on a number of attempts where she's appeared on different banners. Let's pull her up here. That HP looks a little high. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Okay, no, it's actually neutral HP, neutral attack, which is great, neutral speed, neutral defense, and, oh, and neutral res. This is a completely neutral Fallen Celica. That's awesome. I am Duma's faithful servant. Very, very awesome. Okay. So we got uh, Fallen Celica on our first circle. I'm glad I ended up pulling the entire circle rather than you know, deciding to stop halfway through. That is actually amazing. Very, very happy with that. All right, well, today we've got the New Heroes Doorway to Destiny banner, introducing the three genealogy units you see before you. Uh, we've got Quan, we've got Sylvia, we've got Lewin. Um, and all of them seem pretty good, pretty great. But I think for me personally, I will be targeting reds for Sylvia, hopefully to get um, another dancer in the barracks. Hopefully... Um, Sylvia treats me a little bit kinder than Lean did, her daughter, on her introduction banner, because, uh, well, she didn't treat me so hot. So, hopefully there are going to be some reds in this first circle, and that'll be all we pull for. Okay, so we're going to get one red, we will grab this one, and I think that's going to call it. All of these units look pretty great, I have to say, but, um... I'm in conservation mode. I feel like there's going to be a ton of stuff upcoming that I'm going to be wanting to pull hard for. So, um, at least for these units, maybe we'll get lucky. Okay, no, it's going to be a Celeth. That's all right. Celeth doesn't really have a whole heck of a lot to offer, but you know what? That's okay. Gave it a shot. But I'm going to be saving my orbs. I'm not going to be pulling on this banner. Uh, good luck to all of you if you or sniping for any one of these units. Hopefully you get them. Okay, so that's going to do it for the second episode of Poverty Pulls. Uh, some nice little surprises in there, some things that I certainly was not expecting, um, and some nice fodder and some other decent things along the way. So I certainly had a blast. Hopefully you did too. If you had fun, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Fire Emblem Heroes content. Uh, we thank you so, so much for watching. We really, really do appreciate it. And until next time, let's protect those skies.